Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League 2 Predictions. Obviously League 2 did not um, play this weekend because of the FA Cup. I know there's been a few twists and turns for the second round. Um, I know that a couple of lower league teams like League 2 got knocked out. Um, so it will make my FA Cup second round predictions much more interesting as well. Um, as well as the championship teams coming in for the next round. Um, but anyway guys, you know what I'm trying to do, try to get to a thousand subs come May. So guys, the best way you can help me is by sharing my videos, letting people know about my channel and let's see if we can do that together. There will be a special video coming up once that goal is reached. Um, but anyway guys, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about, well, it's supposed to be Colchester versus Bradford. Um, just going to tell you the results for this one because the game has been suspended, um, well, postponed, I should say, um, due to the international call-up. So Bradford won 2-0 against Exeter and Colchester won 3-2 against Manchester away from home. Good three points for both them clubs and Exeter. Um, you know, like they do play this weekend, so I'll speak more about that with the Exeter point of view. But anyway, my next game is Crawley Town versus Morecambe. This game does go ahead. Crawley Town lose a 2 1 away to Cambridge. Um, really not expecting nothing less from Cambridge, if I'm all honest. I know they're strong at home. And that sort of proved it. Um, Morecambe beating Lake Norman 1 0 at home. Um, you know, fair play to Morecambe, good three points for Morecambe as the table stands. That could be key come May. Um, but, you know, both one of these teams are going in with this weekend with a defeat in the league, and the other one's going in with a win. Um, is that going to, you know, shake the confidence of both teams? We're going to have to wait and see. But as far as this one goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Crawley Town win. My next one is Exeter City versus Cheltenham. I just literally not long mentioned Exeter. Um, lose the 2-0 away from home to Bradford. Um, you know, fair play to uh, Bradford for turning up with that one. Um, I know the table... It's quite a big gap between uh, Bradford and Exeter. Um, but, you know, fair play to uh, Bradford. Um, Cheltenham loses 2 1 at home to Forest Green. Expecting nothing less, really. Um, I know that was a, you know, I think I put a draw down for that one, but, you know, fair play to uh, Forest Green. And it's away from home, which makes it harder for the visiting team to come. But, you know, as I said, well done to Forest Green. But as far as this one goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Forest Green versus Plymouth Argyle. Um, just as you mentioned, Forest Green beating Cheltenham 2 1 away from home. Plymouth game got postponed, waterlogged pitch. Um, I know we had that downpour on that weekend. And I'm actually quite surprised how many games went ahead, if I'm all honest. Um, but that's the only game that did really get affected. Um, I think it's a bit of a ground safety. I think something might have to play with our guys ground. Um, you know, which may be unsafe for the fans to go. So, you know, fair play um, for calling it off. Um, Plymouth, you know, it's not nice, but, you know, something's happened to your ground or whatever, you have to call it off. So that's going to be an interesting game when it, when it comes up. But as far as this one goes, I'll go for a 2-1 for the screen win. My next one is supposed to be Grimsby versus Leeport. Yeah, game, game postponed. Um, I'll just tell you the results. Leeport County lost 2-1 at home against Salford City um, and Grimsby was supposed to be playing Plymouth which obviously I've just said got postponed 
So that's a disappointing day for Newport. No game this weekend due to the international call ups. So, you know, Grimsby go what, nearly two weeks off, obviously, except from the FA Cup game. Um, but hopefully, Plymouth to get it right. Um, but anyway, my next one is Lake Norian versus Scunthorpe. Lake Norian beating, uh, sorry, losing 1 0 at home to Morecambe. Um, great three points for Morecambe. Um, Scunthorpe 0 0 at home to Stevenage. I still say that's a great point for Scunthorpe. Um, I know there's a long way to go in this season um, with you know points in that, but that could be a vital point come May for Scunthorpe. Um, but as far as this result goes, I go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Macclesfield versus Mansfield. Mansfield beating, uh, sorry, losing three two to Colchester at home. Um, Macclesfield losing 2-1 away from home to Carlisle. Great three points for Carlisle. Um, this point day for Mansfield and Macclesfield. But as far as this result goes, I go for a 0-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Northampton Town versus Crew Alexander. Um, Northampton Town 2-2 uh, away to Oldham Athletic. Crew Alexander losing 1 0 away to Port Vale. Um, this point day for Crew Alexander. Um, and, you know, how well they've been playing, probably at this point day for Northampton Town as well. But, you know, fair play for Oldham for getting that point. And uh, fair, point, fair play to Port Vale for getting the three points, especially away from home as well. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Port Vale versus Carlisle. Just as you mentioned, Port Vale um, beating uh, Queer Alexander away from home 1 0. Carlisle beating Macclesfield 2 1 at home. Great three points for both of these clubs. Um, you know, both probably not looking at promotion. Um, you know, this is probably going to be a middle of the table clash. Um, especially the bottom half. Um, as I said, there's still a long way to go. Still a lot of twists and turns, I'm sure. But you know, we're gonna have to wait and see to see what happens. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a two 0 Port Vale win. My next one is Salford City versus Swindon Town. Salford City beating Newport County 2-1 away from home. Swindon Town beating Walsall 2-1 at home. So both of these games are going in with a 2-1 victory from the previous uh, uh, results from League 2. Um, very interesting as I find that, funny enough. Um, but fair play for Salford for turning up at Newport. Swindon Town... Um, you know, great three points against Walsall, expecting nothing less, really. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Swindon Town win. My next one is Stevenage versus, versus Oldham Athletic. Oldham Athletic 2 2 at, at home to Northampton Town. Stevenage 0 0 away to Scunthorpe. Um, great point for both teams, really. How well uh, Northampton Town be doing. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1 0 Oldham Town win. My last one for this weekend is Walsall versus Cambridge. Walsall losing 2 1 away from home to Swindon Town. Cambridge beating Quarley Town 2-1 at home. Expecting nothing really less from Cambridge. Um, you know, fair play. Um, you know, Walsall to actually go to Swindon and give them a real go. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Cambridge win.
But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a like, big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.